All right. Let us see. We're going to start up here, so let me get some hands free to start with. A few little gadgets here so I can read what I'm doing here. And uh, I got to remember, don't get alarmed when it revs up to 2000 here on startup. I don't know why, but prime it. There we go. Priming. RPM, I mean that fuel pressure, 30, sure. Go for it. There we go, we started. And it immediately shuts down to almost a thousand RPM after hitting close to 2100 RPM. Talk about weird, huh? Okay, let me back out of the garage here. Hopefully we don't get too much glare. Need to pay attention where I'm going, at least. Okay. Let's not go too far. Uh, let me get far enough away so the garage door doesn't whack me. In case it closes. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we're doing here under uh, live data. Okay. And let me hold it closer to me and the camera while we're doing this all right so what do we got here trying to avoid high glare hold it back a little okay good enough uh 950 rpm that's acceptable uh tps zero air fuel all right let's go to different screens here I think I've got to go to the master screen in order to see the uh, reading there for the... Uh... Okay, it's showing the map on here. Okay, 22-23. Is that good or bad? I don't know, but I do recall it was like that before, but it's basically not adjustable. Go to screen 4. Come on, 4. Alright. And... Uh... It's happy, it's in the green with the air fuel ratio. That's, all right, go to master. All right, here's all of our readings. And the IAC is at around 15 right now, which I believe, according to what I read, that that might be an acceptable number. All right, going to the home screen. And now I am going to go to advanced and let's take a look at IAC calibration. And uh, it's, like they said, it's almost in the green here, but it's still idling. But there is some movement here. Okay, so, all right, let's see how far we can take you. Not very far. All right, that's about as far as we can go here. Okay, I'm going to try and show you, and hopefully uh, the engine is not too uh, deafening here. Wow, should I adjust my camera a little bit higher? Maybe. Let's see what happens when I look downward. Okay. We're going to try and adjust this guy here. The idle air control valve. And, uh, 
We're going to adjust it using the, uh, the idle screw here on the uh, throttle body. Let's go to advanced. On advanced. Now, I'm in the advanced menu and this doesn't have very good contrast, so I'm going to click on the idle air control calibration and uh, it's not going to show up until I click on it and there we go. Um, right now it's showing that we are almost into the red. So I'm going to play with the screw for a moment. And at the same time, let me take my camera off so I can show this. Because otherwise, you're going to miss it. Anyway, here's our screw right here that we'll be turning clockwise and counterclockwise. And over here, we're going to watch if we change it. So right now, I'm going to turn the screw counterclockwise. Okay, the idle went up, and we moved into the red zone. Now I'm going to turn the screw clockwise, inward. And, uh, wow, is that as far as I can go? That's as far as I can go with this screw. I'm already out of adjustment. But, as you can see, uh, we're in the green. So let me show you right now. That's as far as I can turn the screw in. And if I turn the screw the other way, I go out. Uh, the RPM uh, is, is uh, surging now. So I'm going to turn the screw clockwise again. And there we go. So my car, which has very good vacuum, I had to uh, turn the screw as far as it would go to get into the green zone. So now I'm going to go back into the car here. And uh, my idle looks pretty good right now. So I may have to repeat everything I just said. It may have been deafening out there. Should have been using a different microphone option. But uh, anyway, it appears that I discovered my problem with the, uh, what do you call this? The IAC, Idle Air Control. And uh, it looks like it's perfect now. Of course, it's works better if it's connected <laughs> I did not have it connected is that amazing uh, idle is real good uh, we're just about almost at operating temperature for this car which is 160 but wow that really should show up for, with an error if you can't adjust this if it's in the red zone either way it should do that. It doesn't. So. But yeah, we've got a good. Uh, oh, I'm trying to reduce the glare. What is so bright? Uh, other than the sun. Is the sun glaring off of this right now? I'm trying to find a good way so you can see the uh, colors of this. On my uh, screen. To my eye, it looks red and green, but I can see on my camera, it might be showing up as orange. Mostly because the glare of the sun. I could do this at nighttime. But yeah, excellent. So that is how you adjust air, idle air control with a connected idle air control sensor. Um, so I'm going to call that good and I'm going to go to the next screen, which is, uh, idle, the idle screw adjustment was detected. TPS is required. Okay. 
Release the throttle and press calibrate. Okay. Idle TPS calibration complete. Please continue. Okay, I will. All right, so, excellent. Let me just check IAC one more time, and we're still good. So, that is the proper procedure then. I'll have to uh, edit my video so that uh, it's not like two hours long where I was trying to figure out this problem, but yeah, looks like we're fixed. It's running pretty smooth. The idle is very good. I'm gonna go to uh, live data now on screen one and yeah, wow, excellent. All of my readings are so good right now. So you know what that means, folks. It's time for a test drive. So let me lock my door. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so you see here uh, while I'm driving down the road, let me adjust my camera so that everything shows up. All right, that ought to be good enough, I hope. So we can close the lid here and go for a drive. <laughs> 